Indonesian Tsunami of 2004 by Stephen Poletti There were a lot of places affected in the tsunami, but the worst affected place was Indonesia, which was closest to the earthquake, and they suffered much more damage than the other, other areas such as Sri Lanka, Maldives Islands, Madagascar, the Seychelles, Kenya, Tanzania, and South Africa. In all the places that were affected, there are many of sad deaths of innocent people and tourists. A total of 230,000 to 260,000 people died as a result of the powerful waves that could become the worst tsunami in history. We don't know how many people survived in total, but it was believed that hundreds of people survived and witnessed the tsunami. Most of the native survivors were homeless and were trying to find help. Some people have crazy stories, like an 8-year-old that got swept away and who searched for 7 years trying to find her family. There were four waves that occurred in the tsunami. There were not many people that knew what to do when the earthquake occurred. Some people stayed on the beach instead of running for higher ground. Each of the four waves were very deadly in Indonesia, but there was one that was 80 feet high and caused a lot of damage. All the waves knocked down buildings and took people's lives. The earthquake that occurred 10 minutes before the tsunami was the third largest earthquake ever, at 9.1 on the Richter scale. The earthquake was not far out on land, but not far in the ocean, close to the island of Sumatra. Tons of people died in a result. Most of the items were destroyed in the tsunami, so that left a satellite picture showing no green on the affected areas. The ground was covered in broken items that were destroyed during the tsunami. Also, it wasn't just broken items, there were also people on the ground that could not take the power of the wave. Most countries did try to help and pitch in. Surviving in this landscape was very tough. Most every building in Banda Aceh was knocked to the ground. Not many buildings stood after the tsunamis. Not many buildings stood at all because most of them were damaged and destroyed. Damage was everywhere, making it very tough to live. The American Red Cross did, of course, come to all the places to help. Even armies came in to help people survive to a magnificent tale and keep their lives. Bande Aceh was a city that was wiped out by the horrible tsunami. More than 60% of Bande Aceh was wiped out.